normally some adjustments may be given below the trial balance you should do adjusting that in two accounts or two places suppose if that adjustment appears in the trial balance what happens then it should be posted only once okay items given in trial balance rather than in adjustment for example closing stock if the closing stock appears in the trial balance that's a real account will be transferable to balance sheet as a set outstanding or accrued expenses representative personal account will go to the life credit balance prepaid expenses representative personal account and debit balance should go to the asset side okay accrued income representative personal account and also debit because the income supposed to be receivable as an asset for you debit balance will go to the asset side unearned income unearned income otherwise income received in advance is otherwise named as unearned income representative personal account because you have received the collection or money for that you have to work for you have not worked for but you collected the money which is called income received in advance otherwise named as unearned income you receive but you have not earned earned means you have to work for that i collected the fees from you but i have not uh, completed my coaching that means i have not uh, earned that fees collected the money but not earned which is anybody income received in advance representative personal account and credit balance will go to the life asset depreciation value loss of an asset so nominal account debit and debit to pnl account it should be debited to pnl account bad debt also nominal account debit to pnl account and provision for doubtful debts it's a provision not confirmed one amount or the profit kept aside to meet the bad debt loss is a, just a provision similar to the reserve Will be posted in the life side. It's a credit balance. So always remember the provision for our next should be credit balance only because it's not a loss. Okay, the later period there may be a loss in the name of bad debt. That bad debt will be adjusted in this provision for our next. Right, the loss may be debit now. By the time the debit is adjusted in this credit balance, there's slight difference between reserves and provisions. Provision is a known expenses for that if you are creating an amount. As, as a result, that is called provision. Otherwise, if we don't have any such commitment to be debited the payment account, those things will be named as reserves. Okay, it's only a profit. Profit could be used for any purpose. Discount allowed and expenses and debit to payment account and provision for uh, discount on debtors. Okay, also a credit balance. Eight and ten both are same almost. Eight and ten both both are almost same like. Liabilities, discount received, credit balance, income. Okay, reserve for discount and creditors. It's a debit balance. It's a inward service. Okay, inward service. Provision for down payment and provision for discount and creditors are same. Provision for discount and creditors is inward service too. So asset account, interest on capital, nominal account and debit to P and L account. Interest on drawings is also nominal account. Predict to people. Is that okay? Keep this fine in your mind.